Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, look, you know me. You see the subscriber count. You see the view count. You see my Twitter follower count. You know, and I know, I'm barely getting by. So <laughs> we're going to be looking at whatever I can get my hands on to talk about. And uh, for today's topic of the video, it's going to be this ES45 from Godox. So this is a uh, an esports focused key light. You get more frames per second with this light, evidently. Um, but yeah, this light is meant to act as a competitor to the Elgato series of key lights, which are very, very popular. And uh, yeah, in this one, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the actual light itself, take you through some of the features of it, and give you my final thoughts and impressions after I've had it for about a week now. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, as they say. So inside the box, you're gonna find just a couple items to get you set up and ready to go. First off, Godox is kind enough to give you a nice tasty little treat so that you can have something to satiate you once you're done actually building this monitor up. Good to go. Uh, warranty info and a user manual translated from Chinese to English, so good luck with that. A light panel here, and then of course you get your power adapter, and then last but not least, inside the main box, you're going to have a nice and decent enough mounting pole for the light itself. It you know telescopes out so you can extend it, give it a little bit of height adjustment. It's a C-clamp on one end, really simple, and a ball head on the other, which is kind of shitty, but it does the job. And then the actual controller is built into the back and magnetically charged or charged via USB-C. Simple enough. The light itself is by color, which means that you'll be able to fine tune and adjust the light all the way from 6,500 Kelvin on the colder side to 2,800 Kelvin on a more warm side. So giving you some flexibility with what kind of color you actually get. Here you can see the light at peak brightness at 100%, scalable all the way down to 1% using the controller. The light itself does have four three quarter inch mounting points, one on each side, and the actual controller that comes with it can be mounted and recharged via the magnetic connection on the back. So if you have two of these, you only need the one controller. You can put the other one on the back. Really easy to pop on, really easy to slide off. Nice and simple. So we are looking at the ES45 right now, this is the only light I have on in the room other than ambient light for my monitor, which is not very bright. Um, but we're looking at about 1% brightness currently at 5600 Kelvin. Uh, camera settings, I'm gonna put them up on the screen here for you so you can see them. But this is normally what I record my camera in. I'm going to turn the setting up here just a little bit so just for an example, whoa, this is 10%. This is 10% brightness. Uh, we're gonna turn it up to, this is now 30, 30. So you, you'll notice there's not a lot of spill going into the background, which might be preferable to you. Uh, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit brighter. And now we're at uh, 100, which yeah, definitely fills up a little bit more. Um, I will say the panel is not very harsh to look at. It's it's pretty reasonable, I think. If it was sitting at your desk, you're focused on your monitor, if you're streaming or something like that, it's pretty much out of the way. It's gonna light up your face pretty evenly. Um, not a lot of spill in the background, which it might be what you want from that light. To give you a little comparison about what I, what I normally shoot with, uh, I'm gonna switch to that shot right now all right so yeah this is probably what i normally shoot with is having a big old soft box to my left little uh, edge lighting which i've got kind of low right now i probably should adjust that and then maybe some ambient lighting back here but nothing nothing too crazy so i think um at 100 bucks the price point for this es45 is actually pretty reasonable um, one thing I would note is that the remote itself, if, uh, if I'm to be believed, this should work theoretically with other Godox products. So I'm going to check and see what channel this is on and try to program this to work with it correctly. So. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. 
Okay, so test was not exactly uh, successful. It doesn't look like this remote in particular is compatible with other Godex lights. Now, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but um, this, I would assume, should work with maybe multiple sets of this ES45. So if you get two, maybe you got two on each side of you, one for key, one for fill, whatever it might be. Um, then yeah, maybe that'll that'll work just fine, but I could not get this remote to work with my other Godox lights here. So unfortunately, can't seem to do that. Now what I will say about the remote, a couple things to point out. One uh, big key factor with this is that this is, if you can see that there, focus, USB-C. So USB-C, that's, that's pretty helpful. Uh, I've been keeping this on my desk and just plugging like my phone charger that's next to it. Should the battery start to go down, uh, should the battery start to get low. So yeah, there you have it. It's uh, the Godox ES45. Um, to be honest with you, for about a hundred bucks, if that's what you find yours price at, I, it might've changed a little bit since I purchased mine. Um, I've had a lot worse lights for a hundred dollars. So with this one, truth be told, I think, uh, I think it's a decent value for what you're getting out of a hundred dollar light. Um, the fact that it's by color is nice. And the fact that it does come with this pretty useful little USB-C remote there. Um, I think it's, I think it's nice. I think if you don't have anything right now and you've been relying on just like the window behind your desk, or you're lighting your room from your ceiling lamps, or your floor lamps or whatever. Uh, I do think that this is a fairly good pickup at this price. It might make a good holiday gift if you got maybe a friend or a family member who's wanted to get into streaming or maybe they wanna just start making little videos and they just need something that's a little bit more consistent than uh, the light attached to their lamp. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably going to do it for today. I got some other stuff I'm working on, but if you've made it this far, I'm curious, what would you like to see from the channel? I'm just, you know, I'm always looking for ideas and I'm, I'm going to be honest, I've been like creatively bankrupt for the last two months. So, uh, when I don't have ha my hands on like new tech, I am, str I struggle to come up with ideas, but also that tech is not free. I have to pay for it all and uh, I don't make a ton of money off of YouTube if you haven't guessed by now so let me know what else you'd be interested in seeing other than that folks get the hell out of here make sure you leave a dislike because I'll never see it